hi guys how are you all doing today welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Suzanne. so um this video is like a highly requested video on my channel like i was like surprised when i got like, the views honestly i just made this video thinking that okay since it's finance let me just get it on my channel some people might be looking for it and first week two weeks one week two weeks three weeks i didn't get any response like there were no not much views then third week fourth week i mean fourth week it just went went up and i started getting response like comments questions and i took the liberty to go and do more research that's the reason why i love youtube i love creating this my content like this content this my niche helps me to stay educated helps me to stay like helps me to keep my brain busy because i always like I always try to research before I bring out content. So it helps me to keep my brain busy. On that note, I am here because I got most of the comments I got on that video was about Empower. I made a, a, a video and I comment like I mentioned three loan apps that is Empower Financing, Prodigy Financing, and Edifin Microfinance. Yes, these three. And I got comments like majority 90 percent of the comments i got on my comment section with about the empower so i'm going to address it and i'm also going to reference their students their website so for those of you that don't know empower is a is a platform like a community of international students that came together to create a loan um loan financial financing i don't know how to say it but they help to finance international students who want to go and study abroad in countries like us and canada and canada but right now like as of last year it was majorly us and canada but now they've i think they've added more schools i'm not sure i will find out in during the process of this video so let's let me just answer some of the questions that I got here. So somebody was asking if after getting the admission, I mean, would he get the loan before he gets an admission into a school? No, it's a student loan. You cannot get a loan for to go to school without your admission letter. It's that admission letter is a, like is like the main requirement to get the loan. Main requirement to get the loan. To getting the loan so you have to have an admission letter from one of their supported schools so what you have to do is to go to empower financing or you type www.empowerfinancing.com slash supported schools.com i mean that the schools they support you will see their, their schools will come up okay under get a loan you will see apply now learn more schools with support you click on it and their schools will pop up the schools they support and excuse me guys if you don't have money to finance your education abroad and you need a loan the best thing for you to do is to go to any loan company to that that supports international students without collateral and the rest go to their company search the schools make your list like work with the list of schools they have in order to gain admission to that schools that they support so that after you gain your admission, they will finance your study with a loan. And guess what? These loans are not cheap. You will pay times two. So before you consider taking any of this loan, it's not a bad thing. If you don't have money, it's not a bad thing. It's not even a bad thing. People do it abroad. Like they are made, they are used to taking loans. So it's not a bad thing. But we Africans, we don't see it as a necessity because we see it as a taboo to go and take loan to pay back is a problem but if you want to go to a foreign country you have to get used to taking loans they are used to taking loans every like they are so used taking mortgage loans car loans education loans like they are so used to it even buying phone they take they, they take it on credit and pay in bit. so who are you so i've got like there are so many questions about it somebody was even saying was asking questions like after taking the loan like he he heard that after taking the loan, they are going to enslave her. Like, who is enslaving you, God? Like, who is going to enslave you? If you're going to be enslaved, if you don't pay your loan, 
Because when you're owing somebody, you know that there are so many restrictions. When you're owing a company, you cannot take credit again from another company because you already have a bad record. That is enslavement on its own. So if you want to, if you don't want to have a bad record, you pay on time. That is the only difference. Though. That is what me I know, and that is what I'm saying. You pay on time. So you come on here, you search for their schools, and you make use of the schools they support in order to gain admission, like I said. You get your loan, and they support, like, they will, while applying for, if you guys want me to help you with the application, you can hit me up on Telegram. It's not free. It's not free. I'm making this video already. It's not free. If, you, if I'm going to dedicate my time for you, it's not free. I'm just saying. Anyway, um the things you will, you will need to apply for this loan is your bank because they will ask you if you have any source of funding like scholarship um school bursary something like that funding from family and friends let's say your family and friends are contributing for your education abroad or personal savings you have to pick anyone that applies if you have a scholarship you pick it if you have a scholarship and your personal service and funding from the family you pick all of them and you put the amount that you have because they will ask you for account statements so there's no need to lie except you want to go and i don't know there's no need to lie so they'll ask you for proof of all of those documents so whatever it is you're picking make sure you have a proof to back it up because they will ask you for a document for follow-up and some people were even asking me that they have applied for the loan they've not gotten feedback from them like they've not gotten back from them because on the side they said your loan account your loan would be like the, the your loan would be determined within five to two to five working days so if you don't hear from them either you get the loan or you don't get the loan and if you don't hear from them in a month know that there's something wrong with your application you have to contact them their site is there their phone numbers are here their us phone number canada phone number their customer relations will attend to you and they will check your application and let you know if you have any document that is missing it's like, like I said, if you need any um, further information or assistance, you can hit me up. And they support all degrees, master's, MBA, PhD, bachelor's, in class, JD, joint degree, LLM law, MD, DDS, DDS, select boot camps, diplomas, as, and associates in Canada only. So for the PhD, bachelor's, you have to be in your last two years I, let's say for phd i think it's a five years program five of i don't know it should be a five years program you have to be in your third year before they can give you the loan so you cannot want to go for a phd and ask them for a loan is it that you have your money for one two three years already in your account and they will now finance in many two years for you or you are already in your third year before they will give you the last two years loan same thing applies to bachelor. You have to be your 300 level before they give you the loan. If they cannot fund your 400, your four years program, just a two years program and below, two years and below, let's say six months to two years. That is the only thing they fund. And that's it for this. You can use it to apply. Okay, someone asked if it can be used to apply for visa. Yes, it can be used to apply for visa because they'll give you. Is a loan they are going to give you the documents that you will require for your visa application and um before you once your visa is out like once your visa is out you will con i mean you will con you will submit your visa your visa that is out on their website for them to disburse your school fees to your school and you can as well change your disbursement date depends on when you are traveling let's say you are traveling in august and disbursement date your school is supposed to start in september and your disbursement date is around middle of september you can change it to august so that they can pay your school fees on time for you so that before you get into whatever country you're going to let's say us or canada you have already paid and you're just going to be showing your school fees receipts at your at the, the point like the immigration border or the point of entry what again what again i think i've answered these questions So some people were asking me, they got admission to colleges. How can they collect the loan? You cannot collect the loan as long as you have gotten admission to a college. 
they don't support i don't think they support they, they don't support any college especially in canada or that i know they don't support okay let me just check since i'm here they don't support any college they are all universities for the us you see wilfred okay um william jessop university okay they support some colleges in the U united states you see williams college yale university let me see anyway you have to do your research go through their website everything is simple it's like like seamless everything is simple on their website every information you're looking for you can call their customer service they will pick up and answer you and the time they call you have to know the time to call them because their time is different from our own so you have to know the time to call them or you send them a mail anyone just find your way around it it's paperless seamless nobody needs to do it for you no agent needs to do it for you. you need to do it you can do it yourself like if you have brain you can apply for yourself no agent will do it. you can should do that like no necessary so. so yes good news empower is on youtube so in case you need any further information you can go to their website i got this for information from their web their youtube channel so you can go to their youtube channel empower financing that's the name of their youtube channel and watch they make videos on how to sign like how to apply for loans every time like a zoom meeting like every time like live stream on their channel do your research before you make any move do your research before you make any move like i have done my research and i brought answers to your questions on this video so do your own research before you make any move have a nice day guys and bye see you next time